going on there, folks? Good evening. It is the Earthmaster back here on this Monday night. It is June 26, 2023, about 1041 here in the state of California. Latest quake shows some movement here into the California area with a 1.9. Looks like a swarm of activity continuing here outside of the Reno, Nevada area. I've been watching this over the past couple days. Um, definitely want to keep an eye open here for some further possible movement, larger scale activity. Been a little while since Reno's seen any uh, major movement out here, but uh, again, swarms have been sparking up here over the past couple weeks. So, good indicator, maybe possibly something building up out there around the Reno area. Uh, last 24 hours, 15 earthquakes here near the Sun Valley region. It looks like the largest so far in this little cluster is going to be that 3.0 uh, from just earlier this evening. Into the Pacific Northwest, Washington area, a couple scattered earthquakes up there. Northern California, very spotty. A little, little bit of movement looks like around the Clear Lake Volcanic Field, which is the Calpine Hydrothermal Operations. And also a little bit of movement here across the creeping segment of the San Andreas Fault. Southern California, not a whole lot going on. Uh, we've got, uh, of course, typical microquake activity here in Southern Cal. Nothing big happening yet. Yellowstone National Park, a couple smaller earthquakes. Let's see what we have here for the Yellowstone overview. This gives us a, a good indicator of what's going on on a broad scale view. A couple smaller earthquakes it looks like. I believe this is thunderstorm activity earlier uh, kicking up there across the northwestern corner of Wyoming. That tends to kick up like that every, seems like every late afternoon um, during the Season of storms up there. All right, uh, rest of the country here looks fairly quiet, not seeing too much activity. Uh, very minimal movement across the rest of the country. Into the Alaska area, roughly about the same. If we're looking for any uh, major uptick today, it looks like it was focused uh, around the Andaman Sea here, uh, where we did see uh, a handful of earthquakes, 5.2 the largest. Kind of working its way up this plate boundary here. Also in eastern Afghanistan, getting some deeper activity here. Underneath the mountains here, 4.6, the latest coming in in the last hour uh, in that little cluster of earthquake activity. Northern Iraq, uh, they have this set as a 4.3 in Turkey, but it looks like it's on the border side here. That one coming in late last night. As uh, far as the typical movement goes, as it goes on here, Aftershock activity continues around the Turkey area that will definitely, no doubt, continue for a little while. Some movement around the, uh, looks like, a Mediterranean area as well. A couple twos throughout the area. Nothing big going on. South America region, handful of smaller quakes as well. Uh, today just definitely been a little on the um, minor side as far as earthquake movement goes. We haven't really seen anything major kicking off. No major unusual activity. Uh, New Zealand, still watching this area here around the plate boundary. Of course, with that, with this activity kicking up back and forth around the Tonga region, that's um, definitely a good idea to do, keeping an eye on New Zealand. Uh, the last one here in the Tonga area, 4.9 earlier, this late afternoon time period, it looks like. Uh, let's go here to the GeoNet servers and see what we have Popping up here for New Zealand. Looks like 12 hours ago, 3.1. I don't know if they have anything else since then. Got a couple smaller microquakes. It looks like there was a 3.1 here about two hours ago. Uh, just off the south area of the North Island. Aside from that, mostly smaller microquakes, folks. Not a whole lot uh, going on here across New Zealand currently. A look at the earthquake drums. Um fairly minimal. Can't say there's a whole lot of activity happening out here currently across New Zealand. There's that three-pointer it looks like. All right, uh, back to the map here. So Big Island of Hawaii, nothing changing out here yet. Still seeing some movement across the Pahala area. The Kilauea volcano is still currently paused. We'll just give a quick glance here at the HVO daily update that was put out earlier. The summit eruption there at Kilauea Volcano currently paused. No other unusual activity ongoing uh, across the Big Island. Uh, let's check out the trimmer map here tonight. Cascadia trimmer. Zip zero. Nada. 
That's the number tonight, and it has been for the past couple nights here. Notice this trend of activity been lacking, uh, definitely been lacking these upticks that we have witnessed here in the years past as far as elevated trimmer activity goes. Uh, the trimmer activity kind of acts as a slow slip event, slow slip earthquake, if you will, uh, instead of that sudden built up energy. Now, there's a lot of questions on if the potential for a mega quake is greater when we have less trimmer like this, or if it's greater when we have more trimmer. It's, you know, it's, this is something new, the trimmer uh, activity, as far as um, studying it goes. We don't really know exactly. Uh, what was happening prior to the 1700 earthquake back, uh, you know, 323 years ago. But hopefully we can utilize this data looking at these trimmer counts, trimmer monitors uh, to hopefully predict or maybe even forecast the next Cascadia mega quake after this next one that's coming up. Who knows when it's going to be? All I know is that uh, it's building. All right, uh, space weather activity here. Just going to make this a quick, short update. And uh, I'm going to try to get some sleep tonight. I could not sleep whatsoever last night. I don't know if you guys have any nights like that, but your mind is just wide awake. And, uh, and my body's tired, but I'm just, you know, mind is going. So space weather activity. Um, looks like the only potential sunspot is currently 3340. That is the one that we're watching up here on the northwestern quadrant. That is now... Well, it's about ready to say goodbye as it drifts off further out of view. Uh, watching this sunspot right here take off pretty, uh, fairly rapidly. Here's the um, the image from earlier this morning, it looks like. Check out the latest image, how fast this has kind of uh, kind of grown here, 3354. So we'll continue to watch this here uh, as that is gaining some momentum and strength. Uh, not super complex yet, but it's something to watch pretty closely. Again, that's going to be 3354, this regional sunspot that is, uh, well, it's pretty much almost lined up with us. Uh, it is flaring slightly. Notice the arcs and the magnetic structures here in the lines. Also, the uh, sunspot region over here that's going to be departing the visible disk. So we got two right now to really uh, focus on. Looks like 99% chance for a C flare. M flare at 40, 10% chance for an X flare probability. Not really seeing any major aurora forecasts here, uh, at least in the forecast. Sometimes we get these little surprise events here with the uh, BZ component when it tilts south. It allows a, a lot of solar wind stream to flow into the planet, arcing up the, um, the KP index here. But it doesn't look like that's happening tonight. A look at the Storm Prediction Center here over the next couple days. I'm not really seeing anything major going on as um, far as any elevated activity. Uh, look at the assembles here. This is a map I used to kind of looks like a face right here. I, I wish we could say that this low pressure trough here is going to last over the West Coast, but we are looking at some very hot conditions uh, into the Pacific Northwest. That includes Northern California as well. Looks like that's going to kick up roughly around Thursday or Friday towards the end of this month and last at least for a week. We're talking about highs up into the 115 degree range. You guys got to check this out here where I live. It's, uh, it's definitely not something to brag about. Um, let's go over here to the temperature chart. Not too bad right now. I got 68 degrees here in my backyard. It says 75 for Chico down here it says 73 so I don't know you know take your pick I, I prefer my uh, backyard weather station because I know where it's at and I know that it's accurate so looking at Thursday here of this coming week things are going to start cooking with a major heat spell starting uh, 107 for Willows 106 for Chico this could be some bad fire uh, potential weather and Friday it only gets hotter uh, it really starts cooking here. 111 Willows, 109 in Chico. I think this weekend will probably be under a heat uh, watch or warning. Uh, more likely it'll be a heat warning, excessive heat warning due to these temperatures here. Look at that. 115 in Willows, 111 in Chico, 107 in Paradise. If you're out here in Northern California like me, the spot to be is going to be either inside or um, along the coastline, the cool Pacific Ocean, keeping things nice and cool across Eureka, Mendocino with highs in the mid to upper 60s. But Saturday is going to cook. Uh, a look at Sunday. 
bring in the sunday models here this is going to be the big one 118 degrees almost 120 degrees folks a lot of people when i travel um, a lot of people don't believe me when i say that this area can get that hot it's like a little it's like a big death valley death valley is a little bit uh smaller it's below sea level we're not below sea level but the dynamics that are set up here with the mountains all around us create sinking air uh, and that just cooks things out here in the valley uh, up and down the board things are going to be really toasty 118 degrees goodness i'm hoping we don't get that but uh and also overnight lows are not going to be that much of a relief whatsoever um highs in the or at least lows in the mid 80s some could be locally higher uh, very little relief from the heat overnight now this could be a, a big strain on the grid hopefully it holds up um, willows 113 on monday so we have an extended long range forecast here of just these extreme temperatures um tuesday looks like 107 that's still pretty hot uh wednesday about 100 or so and um you know i can't i can't say we're gonna get any major cool down coming up it's just gonna be a scorcher out here in california and sunday is gonna be the sunday is gonna be the big day i think um i think we may even be hotter than death valley um somewhere around there i don't see any death valley stations up here but um yeah we could break some records up here 118 degrees how's that that is just that's one of those days where you can fry an egg um in the windshield of your car or maybe even on the car uh, definitely want to stay in the shade stay cool if you can i'm sure a heat warning will be issued uh coming up real soon as we get closer to these temperatures it's not looking good all right, folks, um, I think that's about it. Hope everyone has a wonderful, beautiful night out there. I know it's an early start to the week here, Monday. Of course, Tuesday uh, Tuesday for some folks because it is um, obviously after midnight across the eastern portion of the country. Um, yeah, so we'll be back here tomorrow unless something major happens. Um, it always seems to happen after I hit the stop button here on the stream or at least not on the stream but on the record button for now have a good night stay safe out there make sure you guys like and subscribe while you're here we're coming up very close to 100,000 subscribers i think we surpassed the 98,000 subscriber mark here today so make sure you guys subscribe uh we want to give away some prizes we're going to be giving away uh, some some pretty decent prizes once we hit that 100,000 subscriber mark. Uh, we'll be picking out 10 lucky winners for the folks that want to enter. I will go over that as it gets closer. Um, I'm hoping. I'm hoping we'll hit that by the end of uh, maybe August. I'm hoping. The way, the way the numbers are looking right now. So we'll see. Either way, it's coming up. Make sure you subscribe if you're just a, uh, a lurker. I invite you guys to subscribe and um you know hang out with us and see us reach that hundred thousand subscriber mark all right folks have a good night catch you guys back here tomorrow sometime peace out